in the last three parts we were looking into how do you clear ce exams in just one last attempt and in this conversation we'll do the inverse thinking instead of worrying about why somebody would fail let's focus on how somebody can pass so ariba if you are to look at your own profile if you are to convince icr convey something to icr three reasons why you should be clearing it in the second what are the three strengths which icr is looking for in a particular student so first of all presentation hmm yeah the paper should be presentable so that hmm. the examiner uh, the correct uh, evaluator, evaluator. Hmm. it's easy for him to evaluate and hmm. and then second the points that you write it hmm. should be like crisp and hmm. to the point hmm. so that is the second aspect and then uh, the content of the answer it should be like not too much not not too not too small it should be like precise and precise content is proper presentation yeah. and examiner is the right word you should not have a hand uh, the quality of answer like right? yes especially when it comes to audit right mm. so what is like we need to know what uh, uh, in the, his he wants to mm. know like uh, mm. in our perspective it might be a different answer and right. from his perspective mm. it might be a different answer mm. so we need to know what he is thinking while preparing right. the question yes, yes. and mm. what we will uh, like what answer we should write mm. uh, regarding that that's the main thing when it comes to yes i would personally agree to this this both guys because arivas presentation is extremely good and it's very structured and manish's presentation when it comes to audit Uh, he has done an exceptional job in terms of understanding the relevance, the question relevance. So both of them are right. I was happy that he picked up the right strengths, right strengths, and this is good enough to clear. What you are talking about is good enough to clear because it composes sixty percent of the uh, overall paper. When you say audit, you can do it for FM theory and SM also. So you are almost scoring one sixty marks, which is helping you. Cool. What is the strength? Conceptual clarity. Hmm. I'm having the conceptual clarity. Hmm. So I can uh, uh, get the relevance of the question right. what they are asking. Right. the concept that when he says that's a good point because for you to process that question so something is given in angrezi unless you are clear about the concept you don't know what is being asked so bhuvan is right about saying he has the concept clarity as he does because when i had oral conversation with him is reasonably having the concept clarity but uh, his downside is he has to work on the presentation so there are different people having different strengths and advantages what to focus upon is how do you strengthen the strengths and weaken the weaknesses so that you will get 40 in each paper and 15 in aggregate so all of them are right about the strengths i agree to them and the what is strength so i think what is um i can play the concept concept i think that's my really strength hmm. so and uh, formulas i could on to the point i could write the formula so formula is very important so application of formula you are clear with that and the core concepts which are relevant to the question you will be able to recall in different ways yes. that is just understood but well, so coming to accounts i can present the paper in a way that the innovator thinks that he knows the examiner concept. examiner thinks that he knows the concept very well and whatever i think i can completely put it on the paper so that he would it would be easy for the examiner to connect the paper that's my biggest strength for coming to yes. uh, being precise mm. relevant to the question mm. precise and uh, qualitative answers that's it you are over precise we have to work on this matter this guy is like uh, <laughs> Uh, writing executive summary, you have to stitch the words mm-hmm. together in sentences. You have to work on the coherence part. It's very very difficult. Over precision is dangerous. You have to add some content. Sir, uh, I mean, my part I normally I have conceptual clarity is there for me, and mm. uh, I improved a lot in presentation mm. and for past uh, continuous practices. Yes, yes. And uh, have a continuous revision, so mm. I was able to having a continuous revision. I was I got improved in recalling some matters or mm. some few uh, specific topics which I'm scared of. Mm. Was able to recall easily. Perfect. So one good thing about these guys is they clearly know their strengths and they clearly know their weaknesses. So uh, for us to get to the final level, now in one of the conversations, uh, a parent said there are seven parts in succeeding. Six parts are what we can work upon. Seven part is the X factor, a damn no, which has to be given by somebody over and higher above us. i think we are seeking his blessings directly and directly through this conceptual conversation so you guys have uh, enough strength to clear but we should be able to weaken the weakness in time slightly strengthen that will balance the positive and negative so that we get the optimum result okay so uh, i totally have strong reasons to believe that all of you can clear but it is not automatic we can clear but it is not automatic that is exactly what we have to work on Okay thank you for sharing your strengths and weaknesses i think today's conversations gave you a lot of uh, 
uh, streamlining to a thought process and this is a way this is a step forward for us to do the next thing which is going ahead and finishing the 20 hour cycle and then converting that into a 2 hour exam strategy where you score 40 by 70 and the aggregate will happen automatically okay all right guys thank you so much for